Welcome at another video of the Orchid Saga and this is a little bit different intro because I already had filmed this but then I realized that it, won't, uh, it did get way too big so therefore this is part 2 of another video and I will link part 1 in uh, in, the, in, uh, in the corner I think it will be there I always forget but um we have another section in the Oncidium Alliance to do, and that those are my Brushias and Brushias hybrids, etc. So we will do those now, and for in the future, I will give them their own uh, video because there are a little bit too many Oncidium otherwise. But anyhow, before I'm going to make this intro too long again, and this video will be too long again, let's dive over and start checking those reservoirs and have a nice close look up at the uh, individual plants. So, and this is uh, the other genera, or family, uh, the Brassias. I have them uh, listed in my Oncidium types as well. We start off with my Orange Delight. And this one has a beautiful root system. I hope you uh, can see, but the pot is a bit thick and heavy. But I think you can see the roots there, one big root, but we have several roots sticking out of the pot as well. So this one is really doing well. And I put it slowly back so I hope I don't break any roots. This one had a pH reading of 6.8 so I did give it a little bit of calcium just to get it above the 7 again and the parts per million were 130. So that's uh, pretty fine. We have a new growth here, one there and one new growth there, another one there so that's already four one here is five. So this one is uh, really starting to get into a very uh, big plant, I think. I had I started out with two growing uh, uh, ways of growth, new growth, and they started, uh, we have now five. So yeah, I think this one is uh, fairly happy. Orange Delight. This is my Santa Barbara. I officially bought this on No ID and a rescue. But someone, I think over on the Facebook group of Roger, did uh, give me an idea, the Santa Barbara, and I think it's, uh, it is this one. It's, uh, the blooms were very similar, so I really think this is the Santa Barbara. And this one has a good root system, it's now doing very well. It has some older roots as well, darkening up, but we have still uh, quite a uh, few good roots and some bran branching, so I think it's doing fine. And it's currently working on a new growth there, and uh, we deal, will get a spike of this uh, plant as well. It's working on a spike, we will get some blooms, I should say. So, uh, yeah, this one uh, had a pH of 7.1 and a parts per million 120, so I had to do nothing. <laughs> this can go back into the greenhouse. And this is the one with a very long name. And in that long name is uh, Mystic Maze. <laughs> so you probably know which one I, uh, I mean. <laughs> but it's a beautiful plant. It's very heavy. And this one is really enjoying her life. As you can see, the roots are incredible. Completely filled up the pot. We have a few older ones here in the back. That's to be uh, expected. But a beautiful root system on the front. It's a very large pot. So you can imagine the root system. It has inside a pot as well. So I'm slowly going to put this back. This one is uh, fairly big. It's really, uh, that grew very well. I'm sorry, it's, this leaf is in a, you can see this is the bulb. I think uh, they can even get bigger. This is new growth. It really takes its time to grow. It's not a very uh, quick grower, but it's a very large plant. And um, uh, once it, uh, if it's happy, and uh, it, it has a beautiful, uh, it has beautiful blooms. And it's not that hard to grow, I think. But you, uh, as usual, you have to have a healthy plant, of course. But this one is really, really enjoying it, uh, uh, her life in the greenhouse. So this is my Mystic Maze. And this is my Billabong. And my Billabong is doing uh, okay. It uh, doesn't need anything. It has a pH of 7.3 in the reservoir. Parts per million are 123, and as you can see, it has a beautiful, very large spike. This is the first rebloom for me. It did skip reblooming before on this bulb. Um, it wasn't doing so well back then, it didn't have much roots, but currently, as you can see, it's really back on track. It's really doing uh, well. It has three branches here as well on this spike, so this is going to be a beautiful uh, blooming spike. 
and also it has uh, a nice root system as you can see in the pot. We have some older roots here but we have some newer here so I think uh, it's uh, doing fairly well and uh, pretty soon we will have a beautiful blooming update on this one on my channel. The Billabong. And here we have uh, my Billabong Semi Alba and it's almost done flowering. So sadly I don't have them uh, in flower at the same time so I could compare the two Billabongs. But this is the Semi Alba version. Uh, same story, it's uh, beautifully in the, the reservoir wise, it has a pH of 7 and a parts per million around 114, so that's beautiful. And also this one is really enjoying her life in a greenhouse, as you can see, it has a beautiful uh, pot of roots. Big pot, big roots, so yeah, it's doing fairly well. So this is the Billabong Semi Alba. So this is my uh, Shalop Tolkien. I think uh, pretty much every grower has a Shalop Tolkien. But at least a lot of uh, the growers that I follow on over on YouTube. This one also has a beautiful root system. I have this one almost a year now. I did uh, see the date on the tag. It says uh, uh, November the 3rd. So I did a repost back then. I think I have this on my channel as well. But um, it ha did bloom on this new growth here. I'm sorry. We have two new growths here and they both start their new growths for the next season season as well. So the Shalop Tolkien. So you guys this is probably the mother of my brescia types. It's an enormous plant for uh, in comparison to the other ones. It's a really big one. It has a, the biggest pot and it looks dirty but that's stuff that I like to put in there. So don't uh, don't mind because he had a beautiful reading. Um, the pH was uh, six point eight, so I had to do uh, add a little bit more calcium to get it above the seven again. Parts per million sixty two. So yeah, that was to be expected. This one uh, had a incredible blooming season. We had I think eight or maybe ten spikes on it. A lot of new growths. So this one is really doing well. And it's very heavy, so I uh, try to uh, show it to you, but this really has a bucket as a uh, pot. <laughs> and this one uh, fits in here, but it's a little bit hard to... Ah, uh, my finger! <laughs> to get it back in, but I think we did manage. But as you can see, it's a beautiful big plant we have. Blooms here still, uh, you can have an idea, you probably recognize it of uh, the blooming updates. But it's almost done blooming now. And it's really growing towards the side of the pot, so I don't know, but... I don't have it that long, but it really grows well. It has a beautiful uh, growing habit, it's beautiful uh, color of the leaves, etc. Just a very big plant, I'm really happy with it. And this one is uh, fairly large as well. Not as large as the previous one. It does uh, bloom very well as well. Beautiful purple blooms as you can see. We have still some tree spikes left. And this one has, it's a bit of a smaller pot. So therefore I think we can see the roots a bit better. But look at that. It's just filled with roots. It's heavy as well so I cannot keep it as long. <laughs> Uh, with one hand, but it's really filled up the pot with roots and I think when it starts to really grow, yeah, it's still growing roots. <laughs> um, but yeah, pretty soon I might do a repot on this because we have some bulbs as you can see with by my thumb. Uh, those are really um, at the side of the pot, so I really should do an up pot and as well on the other side. pH of 7 and a parts per million of 91. So this one, that was be, to be expected as well, because this one had a really good blooming season. season beautiful roots, lots of new growths, beautiful uh, leaves, etc. So yeah, this one uh, takes the fertilizer pretty well. Uh, I didn't mention the name. No, I, I didn't. Sorry. It's the De, uh, da, De Garmomora Memonia Donald Yamaya. I'm sorry. Yamada. I think, well, the pronoun pronunciation wasn't uh, very good. I, I'm sorry, I did my best. But uh, yeah, that's uh, this one, the purple one. And it's a beautiful, beautiful plant, as you can see.
really happy with this one as well. And this is a fairly new one. My Ondo Ondonto CDM Hens Luyai Eisler. I'm not pretty sure why I have it listed in the brush here type orchids. Probably because the blooms or maybe some parent there. I'm not I do not know that from the top of the head. Or I, ha I just did uh, have it uh, a little bit um, did make a little uh, mistake there. On the, en on the end it's not uh, terrible because I do those checkups anyhow so it doesn't matter that much. But as you can see it's a fairly new one, it's a young plant but it's starting a beautiful nice root system. I hope you can see those beautiful roots starting there. And it had a be uh, the good reading of the gauge, it was 7.4 and parts per million were 135. So this one is, uh, is doing fairly well. And this is my Verona. And as you can see, it's working on a spike, and I must admit I didn't notice the spike because it was here hitting on a hiding on, an, uh, on a leaf of the one next to it. So I did grab it from and then uh, from the shelf, and then uh, it, I caught this beautiful spike. So that will be in our blooming bloom update pretty soon. It has a beautiful root system, as you can see, beautiful fresh clean roots. And it's working on new uh, growth as well. So this one is uh, very doing very well. It had a pH of 6.8, so I did put in a little bit of calcium. Parts per million were 89, so that's uh, beautiful. This one is really eating and enjoying her life. The Verona. So and this is my Brachia or Bratonia. Brachia, it still says on the tag. Um, Eternal Wind. Yes, Eternal Wind, I'm sorry. Just had to check for, for a second. But look at this, beautiful roots. And this one you may remember or recognize from, uh, this is uh, one of the uh, plants that we did follow on uh, how I do uh, <coughs> repot my plants, the newers, new, one, new plants into uh, self-watering. This was one of them. So this is sort of update as well, but as you can see, beautiful roots. This was in the uh, start of the year. If I remember, I will have a, a link to that video. So you can see how this one started and how it's doing now after uh, quite uh, some months, but not, not even a year, year yet. A year yet. There it was. <laughs> so this is my eternal wind. Young plant. It was a freebie, uh, but I'm really happy with it. Beautiful plant. So this is the last one from this uh, lock. This is my... Um, Odontonia Fiona Eisler. Uh, it's a beautiful plant, it's a very young plant, um, but it's uh, working on beautiful nice roots. It doesn't have much in, inside a root, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, inside a pot yet. There goes the tech, I will grab this in a minute. But it's uh, really trying, so I think it will be fine. We do have a little bit of mold there, so I will keep an eye on it. I don't know if it shows up on camera, but I will definitely uh, keep an eye on it. That means that it needs a little bit more air movement. And probably I do... Do I see Cintiq in here? No, not. I thought maybe I did have some Cintiq in. So that's not a prob that's, that is not a problem, so it needs a little bit more air movement. But this is my Verona. And it had a beautiful uh, pH of 7 and a parts per million of 120. So it's really doing well. And we have even some moss there, which I always like. But, so this is the last one of this complete lock of Oncidium and Oncidium types. And I must admit, I never had such a great, good reading uh, pH-wise, yeah, especially pH-wise, on such a large group of plants. These plants we did all measure in this uh, this video, but um, the only one that really needed a uh, update was the very Belden Belgian Black we saw in the beginning, that had a pH of 4.1. Uh, the rest was all okay. It was uh, around six or even in the higher six. Some were a lot of them were still around seven. Normally, I have a few more that really need an update, and especially after four months. But uh, yeah. So I think the calcium is really working and I do not uh, try to over -filter, fertilize them and that is also helping because we, as you can see we have fairly low measurements uh, parts per million wise so that's, I will keep, keep it like that because I think my plants do very well and I don't want any salt builds up in the pots of course. 
So yeah, this was uh, the update on the Oncidium and Oncidium types. The, most of them are living here. And the Oncidium is the brushes I have here. As you can see, we have most of the times quite some sunlight here. They do, do not need as much sun as uh, the Catlay as well. Actually, the brushes could take it. But uh, as far as I uh, can see on the results that we uh, get and how beautiful, especially the brushes are doing, root-wise, etc., I think they are really happy. I have quite a lot of spikes and uh, I think I will have even more in the near future so I think they are pretty happy over there um, so yeah this was it for now for this update I uh, hope you enjoy these guys this is a beautiful way for me to introduce my plants as well to get a better idea of the system that I have going on and um, yeah as usual if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section I'm thanking you for watching and uh, being here with me I really enjoy making these videos, so I hope you do too. And uh, for that, I hope just hope to see you at one of my next videos. And a really big thank you to you all, guys. It means the world to me. Thank you, and bye-bye. Uh, Have a great day.